Hello, I hope those are watching this tutorial doing great and having good health. So welcome to the another creative solutions about the potential and kinetic energy. So this, uh, this chapter is uh, about uh, work power energy. Those who already started these, you might know that this type of creative questions is common on your question paper. So something like that, that this is a point A, B and C. So in, in this figure, a body is a falling from. So you see the word is falling from A towards ground. So it was kept in this point, A point, which was actually 100 meter above from the ground. And there are two other points like B and C. So you see that in the stream, the point C and A distance is given, which is 78.4 meter and the mass of the object is also given. So you think that a point A, B and C is there. So the, the object was kept at this point and this is coming toward grounds. So you see the first question is what is called efficiency. We know that the ratio of available effective energy of any machine to the total given energy is called its efficiency so we can say that eta is actually the power of output divided by the power of input times 100 percent so i hope you know that this is the equations of efficiency so b question so this is the answer of a the big question is what factors does potential energy depends on? So you know from the uh, definition of potential energy is the measure of the deviation of position or state of a body from its normal value. So we know that EP is actually MGH. So hence we know that the aim is the mass of an object which is a uh, fixed value, a constant, and g of any any position is also constant. So it's actually depending on the height. So if height is greater the height, the greater the potential energy. So I hope you know that the factors, which is actually the height, depends on the potential energy. So we can say that with the increase in the amount of any of these uh, height, then the potential energy will definitely change. So C question, how long will the body take to reach at C from A? So from A to C it's coming. So it was in A positions, so in C it will be coming towards. So you see the differences between A and C is 78.4 meter. So how we can solve this? That first we need to think about that body yeah. that is every, I mean, how long will it, will the body take to reach at C? So think about it. The velocity, the initial velocity was zero. I mean, u is zero and the acceleration due to gravity we know that value is 9.8 meter per second square and then the height we know that the height is given 78.4 meter and the time required so how long the question is about time so you see the data is given so which formula we should use it so we can see that h equal ut plus half of a t square we will use plus because this is falling so think about ut so h is given u is zero so we can say that h this is zero because u times t is zero half a t square so we know that a t square is equal to h so we can say that t square is equal to h over a or t is equal root over 2h by a so we can say this is root over 2 times 78.4 over so it's actually uh, g so it would be g g and the value of g is 9.8 so the t or the time 
is actually root over it would be 16 so root 16 it would be like plus minus 4 but we'll take positive 4 second so we can say that it required time is 4 second to reach from a to c now the last question is the total energy of the body at point a and c are unchangeable verify the statement mathematically now we need to find that what are the total energy of a and c think about that uh, the total energy of this object in point a is about think about a point so in a point the potential energy is mgh so the aim is 10 kilogram g is 9.8 and h is in point a it is actually 100 meter above from the ground so we need to think about 100 so it's actually 900 9800 joule point a so you think in point a the velocity was zero so as the velocity is zero the part the kinetic energy that half m v square would be zero as because there is no velocity of this object when it was in point a so in a point in a point we know the total energy is actually the potential energy plus the kinetic energy which is 9800 joule now we think in point c so we got a point now in c point it actually traverses this amount of distance so when it will be in c it must have a velocity and of course in point c it is definitely some amount of distance from the ground as because this is 78.4 so we can say that if we just use 78.4 that it would be 21.6 meter above from this ground to c so we know in point c uh, the potential energy is mgh so this h would be 21 point c so you can say 10 times 9.8 times 21.6 so if we do it we'll have 2116.8 joule now i think when it was in point c it actually 21.6 meter above from the ground so from these value we got the potential energy but from when it was coming from a to c it actually have some velocity so this velocity is actually v square equal u square plus 2gh this formula because we need to find the v when it actually travels this 78.4 meter so how we will do it u is zero so we can say v is actually root 2 gh so it would be 2 times 9.8 times 78.4 so if this is the v so we can say that v square is equal to v 2 root over g or yeah we can say that 2 times 9.8 times 78.4 so this is the root root answer is 39 39.2 meter per second so this velocity will be gained by the object when it will reach c from a so in c the kinetic energy is half m v square so we can say half m 39.2 square so if we use this 39.2 square times 5 is actually 7683.2 if we add this 39 this is 2116.8 will have this 9800 so in point c the total energy is ep plus ek which is this amount so it would be 9800 joule 
so in point a the total energy is 9800 in point c the total energy is 9800 so according to the stem we can see the total energy of the body at point a and c are unchangeable because this is very easy we know that this is maintaining the conservation of uh, energy so the total energy at point a and the total energy at point c are same the total energy of point a is 9800 joule and total energy at point c is also 9800 joule i hope you understand the process of doing this mathematics and if you feel any trouble or if you have any recommendations let me know in the comment sections i'm ready to answer all of your questions so take care see you in the next tutorial with another creative solutions from this chapter so do practice as much as you can take care stay well